Hello and welcome to the 65th tutorial in the Cocos 2D JS version 3 series. In this part we're going to be looking at scheduling methods. We'll be using the source code from the 7th tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. Cocos 2D JS provides us with the means for scheduling and update function every frame which will be used for the game's logic. So if you're checking if the player has died or if you're checking if the player has done this or this has happened that's that is the ideal play for you to do it so what we're going to do is open up our app.js and in here there's only literally two things that you need to do to schedule an update function is do this dot schedule update and now we just create our function actually that's inside here so we put a comma it's called update colon function this takes the parameter of dt which is delta time the uh, basically it's the time between frames and this is the variable that you would be using if you were moving a sprite so if you were maybe in the update function uh, setting the position of a sprite based on the user input you, you would factor in delta time so it looked like it moved at a constant speed even if the game was at 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second so you just put two curly braces and in here we're going to do cc.log we're going to do update function and being called and we're just going to print out the delta time as well so let's just go ahead and open up terminal change directory to our project directory run the cocos command so if we open up the console. As you can see, it's just update function had been called and it's 0 0.016, 0 0.017. It's round about that mark. And as you can see, it's pretty much at a constant 60 frames per second. If I just open up calculator, and if you do, because we've got 60 frames per second, if you do 0, or if you do 1 divided by 60, you'll get roughly 0 0.016. As you can see, you got 0 0.016 recurring, and that's the reason it's printing out that. And obviously, if you're 30 frames per second, it, the value would be different. But using that, you can factor it into movement and general gameplay, so it looks like it's at a consistent speed in case the frame rate dips or increases for whatever reason on variant or on different devices. Okay, so as you can see, we've done this dot schedule update. This is built into Cocos 2DX, I mean Cocos 2DJS, and therefore the update function has to be named this way, aka okay, update, so it knows what to do. But what you can do, you know, also you can schedule your own methods, and they're really easy. What you do is this dot schedule, and then you do this dot whatever your function that you want to schedule is called and we're just going to create a function called function callback so we're going to do function callback colon function and this again takes delta time and in here we're going to, we're going to comment out the schedule update we don't want to load the cc logs otherwise it would be hard to tell we're going to do cc.log we're going to do custom function called plus delta time if we save it go back to our web browser refresh and as you can see we have our own custom function called and it's running x amount of times a second and the great thing about that is that we could have several functions called so it can easily abstract the code and also what you could do if you wanted to you could just have the update method and then just call functions within there that call delta time is totally up to you but you can also set the function to be called after a certain amount of time instead of every frame and to do that it's really easy you just put comma and then the amount of time you want it to be called after so I'm put free which is in seconds uh, by the way and if we refresh our browser Nothing printed out yet. It'll print out, it's, it's printed out and it's been roughly three seconds since the last frame. Again, roughly three seconds again. So, so, so you can just have it print out every few seconds. So maybe if you was, maybe if you had a game and you wanted to spawn enemies, you could spawn them every three seconds or every five seconds instead of spawning them every frame because on a 60 frames per second game, 
you spawn in 60 and that is a lot per second uh, even for even for like a bullet hell game spawning that many items is just ridiculous so what you can also do is schedule a method once so what we're going to do is comment this out and to do that you do this dot schedule once and in here you specify well the function that you want to schedule so this dot function callback now if we go back to our web browser refresh it's scheduled it straight away but it's only going to do it once so this is great if you just want a one-up thing to be scheduled and you don't want the entire code within here maybe this is calculating something performing some sort of algorithm you can also combine both of these scheduled methods so the functions are only called once but after a certain amount of time to do that you literally just put a comma put an X amount of time which I'm going to put 5 now if we refresh as you can see nothing printed out straight away and after 5 seconds it will print out the custom function code and it's after 5 seconds so that is it. Uh, though we have covered a lot of schedule methods, they are still more provided by cocos 2 djs As a task, check out the cocos 2 djs API guide for more information, plus look into pause, resuming, and stopping scheduled functions. Uh, this information can be found in the cocos 2 djs API guide. The next tutorial will cover debug information and properties provided by cocos 2 djs If you have any questions, Feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video, just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.